Hello, chat. How's it going? Stream, chat, whatever the hell. I'm going to kill you guys. How's it going? We are live. Um, yeah. yeah, we're definitely live. <laughs> Just trying to make sure everything's working okay. I'm like, every time, I, every time I start my stream, I'm so scared that it's like not started properly. It's just going to be like, ah. But it seems to be working. Um, so, oh yeah, hello. Oh god. Nearly dropped my controller. Um, so we're going to be playing some more Earthbound today. Well, we're going to be finishing Earthbound today by the sounds of it. Yeah. <laughs> hey Derek, how's it going, man? Yeah, ready to finish it. I can't believe it. We're at the end of Earthbound. You know, I honestly thought this game was going to take a lot longer than this. But, um, yeah, we're at the end. It's actually, we got through this game faster than we got through uh, the Thousand Year Door, I think. I'm pretty sure. Because the Thousand Year Door took like 12 or 13 streams. And this is only like the 10th stream we've done of this. Now granted, obviously no every single stream is the exact same amount of time, but usually they're around the same kind of length wise. So, I think this has probably been shorter. Which I guess isn't a big surprise, I mean they're both Nintendo RPGs and this came out obviously a lot earlier than Thousand Year Door did, so it would be appropriate for it not, maybe not to be <coughs> quite as long, but still. So, um, oh, I did some stuff off screen because I felt like if I did it on screen, on stream, it would take forever to get the shit done and it would probably be pretty boring to watch. So, I basically just stocked up. We have a bunch of piggy jellies and uh, well, we, I, I'm, we're holding a bunch of piggy jellies and so is Kim. Kim is also holding a couple of super plush bears and we're holding one. Uh, Crash has got a couple of super plush bears and he's holding a bunch of multi-bottle multi -bottle rockets and uh, Greg also has a couple of super plush bears and a ton of brain food lunch. So we are stocked the fuck up on items and I have the game saved and we are ready to go to the last area. So yeah, uh, we're fucking ready to do this, we're ready to finish the game. Now I'm no, honestly I have no idea, all I've been told is the the next area we go to is pretty much the last area in the game, but I've no idea how long it's actually going to take. Uh, if we get through it fast enough, I might do the first episode of The Walking Dead tonight as well. If not, I'll maybe just stream something else for a little bit, like maybe some Overwatch or some shit. Like, just play that for like an hour and then head off and then start Walking Dead tomorrow, but we'll just, we'll just see how long this takes, I guess. And how I'm feeling if I'm up for doing it. But, uh, yeah. How's Sun going? Uh, it's going good. I am currently on the second island. I just, I just got past the ranch area, and I'm heading up to Route Five, where the second trial is in the game that we're doing. Uh, I currently have a Pichu, a not a Mudsdale. The I think it's either Mud, Mudsdale's pre-evolution, the first one of that. Evolution line, the, the ground type horse thing. And I have my uh, Rowlet's second evolution, whatever that was called, I can't remember what it's called. But uh, that's my team so far, as those three. And I also have an egg from the, uh, from a day. Well, it's not really a daycare actually. It said apparently it's not a daycare, it's something else different than a daycare. They don't like level up Pokemon, they just breed them. I got an egg from there and I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if there's maybe like. If it's like crystal, mud bray, that's what it is, or mud, yeah, mud bray. I'm not sure if the egg is like the one you get in crystal, but it could be like maybe a multiple different things. Uh, or if it's always going to be the same Pokemon for everybody. But I got an egg, so see what that is, I guess. Dirtrix, that's the one. The nursery, that's what it's called. Yes, yeah, a nursery. Which I actually quite like that idea of a place that like is just specifically for breeding and not leaving Pokemon to get leveled up. Because one, did anybody ever actually use the daycare as a way of leveling Pokemon up? And two, it actually was kind of annoying because there were a few times when I was breeding Pokemon, like breeding egg moves before, 
and they would get left in the daycare center for so long they would level up and the fucking daycare would take over the egg move that I'm trying to pass on. So that was really annoying. So that's really nice that they did that. Um, okay. I guess we should fucking actually get started on Earthbound rather than me just rambling about Pokemon Sun. Alright. Let's do this. <clears throat> Finally, it's complete. The Phase Distorter version 2 is, equi is equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological functions. Second, it can save your progress. Don't be afraid, get right in. There is just one thing though, you might not be able to return, so make sure you are op sure optimally outfitted. Are you ready to go? Yes. Even if you're not 100% perfect, even if you're not 100% perfectly, completely ready, well, you should be as prepared as possible. It would be for the best. Without careful preparation, you would be in big trouble. I just want to make sure you're ready. Let me know when your preparations are complete. I'm fucking ready, man. I got a shit ton of items. So let's do this. Good. At last, the time has come. Are you ready? Yes. Remember, the Phase 2 Distorter version 2 is equipped with two new features. Yeah, I fucking know. Jesus Christ. Just. Do we just get in? Yep, there we go. Maybe should have talked to Applecard before we left, but eh, fuck it. Hmm. We're back here. Where was it? Where was it before? There was a was there no somewhere we were before we went we we went through like a cave or something and we came to an area that looked like this. Wasn't it down in the dinosaur uh, lost world place? Or something. Also, I'm just realised I still have the fucking my music playing from YouTube. Get that turned off. <laughs> Probably a little bit distracting. Um, yeah, wasn't it the, the the sanctuary, the cave, the fire place, the volcano that we were in? We went through like a cave there, and it took us to like a place that looked like this, but we couldn't like go anywhere. Oh god. Oh, it's that guy who took Greg away a while ago. Greetings, so you are finally here. Excellent, you are truly excellent. There's only little time left. I'll give you the last power. I must go now. Greg became conscious of PSI Starstorm Omega. Fucking nice. That's probably going to be pretty ridiculous. Really strong. Whoa. Hello? Kidnapped. I was, I was doing kidnapped. Bad guy, bad guy gone zoom. Where to the past? Ding ding. The fuck is this? Oh, there was a horn of life. Huh. Okay. Oh god, what is that? All right. Nothing up. Oh, hello. Uh. Oh. Hello. Whoa! What the fuck? The phase distorter has been completed. We could finish it quickly because of Mr. Satham's incredible scientific skill. Gygus is attacking from our exact location, but he is still attacking from many years in the past. The fuck? What? This is very hard for me to tell you, but... You must warp to the past and fight, but... But what? We here too. Boing. What what's happening? In order to defeat Gygus who is attacked who is attacking from the past, you must warp to the past. This can be done by way of the phase distorter three. However, the machine cannot warp living things. I mean life forms. Life is demolished in the process of warping. The only way to accomplish the time, the time travel is to transfer your brain program into a robot and send the robot to the past. The transfer means that your spirit will go with the robot while your body is left behind. I cannot promise that your spirit will come back after the battle in the past, yet you must understand that the four of you are the chosen ones. Do you still wish to face Gygus by travelling to the past? Sure. Hmm, you accept this while knowing that you may not be able to return to your current form. Yes. Yes, I see. You have really set your mind on this. 
Let me take a good look at you now. Red, please give me that red cap. Ready? Stand by. Fuck, so we're getting put into like weird robot bodies? That's fucked up. Oh god. Uh, this is very disturbing sounding. The fuck? Red, Kim, Greg, Crash, my son. There is no turning back now. Red, activate the phase distorter 3 by your own hand, thereby following your own destiny. Will you do so? Yes. Only a few people know of your amazing courage, but the number of, the number of people you save through the bravery is immense. I feel very fortunate to be present at the beginning of this monumental undertaking. Okay, <clears throat> so I guess now we're going back to defeat Gaius. Oh my god, we're like what robots? Ah, oh, it's really weird. I come on, I'm the only one that has a hat. They couldn't have like put something on the other robots to like make them stand out. So it wouldn't just be me with the hat. Okay, I guess this is the way we have to go. Alright. Oh god, these fucking ghosts of Starmen. I'm hoping I can kill this thing. Oh my god. No, fuck, fuck, fuck. I was going to say, I hope I can kill this thing before it gets a chance to even use that. Die. Thank God. So, if I just never fucking missed my attack, I would have killed it without him being able to do that bullshit he just pulled. Ah. <sighs> I really, really hope that we're not in a situation where we're just fighting a bunch of starmen constantly. Because that would be kind of annoying. Also, I don't know, I don't know how much of my PP I should like be keeping for this. How much is that? Forty-two for that. It's probably like ridiculously strong. Like I don't know how much. Hmm. I don't know if it's best to like use my PP to tr try and like destroy them fast before they get a chance to attack me, or if it's best to just oh my god, well fucking that's dead as shit. Or I don't know if it's like best to like just use physical attacks and then keep using my PPP to heal myself, because like obviously either way I'm gonna have to use PP for something. I mean I guess. As long as I'm fighting enemies that don't use attacks that hurt multiple people, then the plush bears are going to take most of the attack, so I don't really have to worry too much about healing. So I guess I can just try and stick to physical attacks as much as possible. I just hope that these plush bears last the whole way up, or at least last quite a while with the ways up. Because, like, I have no idea how fucking difficult Gygus is actually going to be. Oh my fucking god. If I just hit him with all four hit, if I just get him with all four hits, it should kill him. Just don't fucking miss. Okay, thank god he didn't. Oh, why are you faster, you motherfucker? Well, this is a problem because that's gonna like kill every cunt before I get a chance to kill the fucking robot. Oh my god.
Wow. This is not going well. I'm going to have to use a shit ton of PP to heal everyone up. To revive Crash and Kim. Fucking Christ. Not going well. Oh my fucking god. Jesus fucking Christ. This is going well. Look how much fucking... Everyone's died already and I'm like only fighting regular enemies. Like Jesus Christ. I mean, I have a shit ton of these items. Might as well use them to fucking heal when I can. Rather than using PP heal, I have all these. So I might as well use all them. Oh, I can't. Forgot. Can't use the piggy jelly on fucking Greg because he's a prick. Oh, well, one thing I can do is use these brain food launches on moi. That'll heal me back up and it'll give me some PP back. Which is good. Oh my god, okay. Well, at least there's no Star Man here, so I can just try and rely on physical attacks to take care of these things as fast as possible. Also, do I not have any. Do I. If, if, are all the plush. Have all the fucking super bears that I had already died? The super fucking. Bear things? Like, are they seriously already all dead? And we've, like, barely even, like, gotten into this place? And I have no fucking idea how long this place is until I get to the actual boss. Are you kidding me? No, we still have one. What the fuck, then? Why wasn't it getting... Hmm. Really? I mean, that's saying I have no idea how long this fucking place is. Oh my god, what is that? That is not very nice to look at. Really wish I got that fucking, that weapon for Greg. Because that probably would make like a ridiculous amount of difference in these fights for only using physical attacks. If he actually got, if I actually got his sword. Yeah, well. Not much I can do about it now. I keep forgetting to use the bazooka as well. Like, I don't know why the hell I'm not using the bazooka, considering it's like actually a really good weapon. Probably doing more damage than my actual weapon that I have. Did he just steal my fucking item? Are you kidding me? Motherfucker. There we go. If I could just get a ton of fucking smash attacks, that would be awesome. I think it's probably worthwhile to just use this on here because I don't want to fucking deal with a stupid Starman killing everybody again.
Oh great, he somehow is faster. Awesome. <sighs> God fucking damn it. Oh, are you fucking serious? Did he really just protect him? Fucking... Oh, why did I do that? I'm so fucking stupid. No, 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 no. Oh, come the fuck on with this. Oh my god. This is going well. These Starman are fucking me every single time. Like, he outspeeds. Everybody. <laughs> Just about. Jesus fucking Christ. I do have this Horn of Life. I could probably use that. Is that, that fully revives them? That's good. And I think I have, I have another one, I suppose, I think. Or did I only have the one? Oh, I have another one. And I have some... And I have some uh, brain... Not brain, I have some uh, life noodles, whatever they're called. Couple life noodles, there we go. Cool, so I fully revise everybody pretty much. Oh, wish I knew there was a butterfly up here. That would have been helpful. Because I could have just used PSI rather than those items. God damn it. I mean, it's not like the butterfly fully restores your PP anyway. It only does like a little amount. So. For fuck's sake. Cat, go away. This is not the time. Go away. Go away. Go. No, I'm not fucking paying any attention. Every time when I'm streaming. Every time when I'm streaming. As soon as I start streaming. <sighs> Such an asshole. Okay. Hold on. If I use PSI Shield... Doesn't one of these make it so PSI attacks get bounced back? If I did that, wouldn't it make Starman's PSI Star Storm, like, useless against us? Wouldn't that be a smart thing to do? I can't remember if that's what that does, though. I'm looking that up. I am looking that up because fuck these star men. Also, Phantom, welcome to the stream. PSI shield, also known as psychic shield. Oh, is able to protect single conscious character of all. Wait, a single protects a single conscious character or all characters. Fuck, go away, advertisements. From enemy PSI base attacks and even returns some of the block damage to the attacker at high power levels. PSI shield is learned in Mother by Ten and Anna and Earthbound by Paula, Polester. And the Mothery Belkis. Yeah. So that is what it does. There are actual so many ads. Fuck off. So 
So what's the difference then between them? I don't understand why... What, what's the difference? I guess the best way of knowing that would be to go to the actual status menu and stuff. But I'm going to try that. I'm going to try and use this and see if that maybe protects us from uh, his bullshit's fucking attacks. Also, freeze might solidify him to stop him from being able to... Oh, there we go. Can that motherfucker just... Ah. Okay, we're all protected by psychic shields. So hopefully this prick does use his goddamn PSI Star Storm. Hopefully... It won't hurt any of us and it'll get bounced back and fuck them up. Really? Okay, he's not actually using it. Which is annoying because I want to know if it actually works that way or not. Can we stop messing, please? Okay, we killed him. Fucking great. <laughs> didn't even get to know if it actually works and that was basically a waste of PP because he didn't even fucking attack us. God damn it. Or maybe he knows, maybe the AI's like, knows not to use it if I have the shield up. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Can we like, why? Why are we missing so much? For fuck's sake. Oh my fucking god. There we go. Thank fucking Christ. Ridiculous. How many bears do we have left? Oh, I think. Oh, we've got two left. Two fucking bear. Two bears left. <sighs> God, how long is this place? Seriously. Okay, there we go. I can maybe sneak by these other two that are here. Hopefully. It would be nice. Oh. Well, that's handy. Doesn't really heal a lot of PP, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> we actually managed to get by that. Ooh! Legendary bat! Damn! Plus 30 attack. That's going to be fucking useful. Also, I might as well use this PSI caramel now. Yeah, it doesn't heal a ton, but better than nothing. Now oh, great, one of these fuckers again. Damn, 380 damage. There we go. These guys are not too bad. It's the fucking... Those robot, Those fucking robots that heal and the stupid ghost star men. Arseholes. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, we... Hold on. Is this like... It? Should I maybe get everyone healed up? Before we walk into whatever this is? Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna look read what these say. Uh blocks PSI attacks using a different shield will cancel these effects. Okay, and then that does it with everyone. What do these do then? Protects one person with oh, okay. Wait. Oh, so the this just blocks PSI attacks, but these ones will knock it back at the person. Ah. Alright. Interesting. Hmm. 
Nope. No, it just takes us to another area. Cool. So still more enemies to fight. Ah. Oh, fucking god. I mean, still using P this PSI shield's probably a good idea, so he can't fucking hurt us with it. So, I'm just gonna use it again anyway. No! Fuck off, really? How is he faster than everybody here? Jesus Christ. <sighs> That's useless now. Such bullshit. God fucking damn it. The amount of PP I'm going to have to use to fucking recover all these pricks. Ah. Just die, stupid robot. Alright, and I think we're down to our last bear now as well. What, what do you mean, what happened? The fucking stupid ghost starman keep using PSI Starstorm and it instantly kills everybody. Like, with them you being able to den about it. It's bullshit. I don't have any more items that fucking bring people back, so I'm pretty fucked. Pretty fucked. Now I can at least do that, and then I can... Did I just use the wrong fucking PP attack? Oh my fucking god. What do you mean it didn't work? Why is it- why is that not working? What the fuck? Why is that not working? That is literally what it does, is it no? What the fuck? Am I using the wrong one somehow? In addition to the effects of healing B, this cures being diamondized and paralyzed. It also revives a friend who has become unconscious. So what the fuck? Why is that- why is it just saying it's not working? What the fuck is happening? Look. Healing. Healing Gamma. Also revives a friend. I literally just used that like three times and it just kept saying it doesn't work. Look. Healing. Oh, now it works. What the fuck? Was the game just glitching there and just made me waste a bunch of PP? Like, you guys saw that, right? I definitely wasn't using the wrong one, but it just was like, oh, yeah, no, let's just not work. What the fuck? That is some bullshit. This place is bullshit. Oh, what the fuck is that? Final Starman. Oh, well, I'm sure he's going to be a fucking laugh. Might as well at least try this in hopes that it fucking works.
Oh, cool. He just has a cool. All right. Ah. It's like those moves with 90% accuracy in Pokemon. They miss a hell of a lot more. Does it seriously have a like? Quite, does it? Does the PSI thing that like revives people? Does that seriously have a chance to just not fucking work sometimes? Because that's bullshit. Like, that's fucking ridiculous. It's a move that you need to use to revive people, and the game sometimes is just like, yeah, let's just not have a work. A move that takes fucking a ridiculous amount of PP to use, and does something as important as fucking revive somebody, and it just sometimes doesn't work. That's fucking ridiculous. That's fucking- Also, I like how this is the only time it's actually done that. Through the whole game, that's the only time it's actually fucking missed. And... It's like when we probably need to have it work the most. It's like, hey, I'm just gonna miss like three times. Fuck you. God damn it. Also... Am I- What is he? Is he crying? I can't remember which one I need- I think I can just use the normal one to get rid of that, can't I? I hope. There we- uh, uh, Okay, no. Kill. Cool. Wait, wait, what? No. Fuck off. Oh my god. Also, hello, you, <laughs> you blow one. Good nickname. Or good nickname, good username. How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. I hope you're enjoying the salt I'm having right now. Because I'm pretty fucking angry about this bullshit that this game is pulling on me. Ah. <sighs> Oh my god. Are we getting close to the end of this? Please? Oh my god, how much further? How many more enemies do we have to suffer through? Oh cool, that's my favourite. The fucking Starman! Oh. Please solidify him so he doesn't get a chance to do anything. Okay, or don't. Okay, thank god. At least we got PSI shield up before this prick gets a chance to do anything. Go ahead, use your fucking star storm, you asshole. It's gonna really shit. Or we can just defeat him before, you know, kill. I like how the only times we actually manage to kill him before he gets a chance to even use star storm is the times where I actually use something to prevent it. Any fight when I don't use the shield, I will never be able to kill the guy faster, fast enough before he uses it. But as soon as I have a good chance to block it, I will always kill him beforehand. So it basically just wastes PP. Because, you know, that's fucking just fun. God damn it. Ah. Uh. Oh, I don't know how I got green there with that, but I'll take it. If I can at least kill this fucker before he gets a chance to do anything, that'll be good. Because the robot's not too scary of an enemy, it's just these star men. Oh, I forgot he has a fucking shield, God damn it! Oh, well, there we go. Thank God for that. I keep forgetting that one had a, already has a psychic shield on him. Could you not just max heal yourself, please? Mm. 
No! Stop! Oh my god. A serious bullshit. <laughs> Insane. It's fucking ridiculous. Like, god damn it, dude. Okay, and this feels like it's the end area, so let's fucking. Is this it? Are we at the end? Oh, yep. I have, I remember seeing this. I remember seeing this before in videos and stuff. I think this is. It. I think this is the end. Oh uh, fuck. Okay, I have no fucking idea how this is gonna go. But let's hope we can at least beat him on the first try. Because if not, really don't want to go through that area again. Do you want us to give you tips for him, or do you just want to do it yourself the first time? I just want to do it myself the first time. I want to do it myself. Helpful Toy Bonnie. Hey man, how's it going? Time to kill Master Google. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, looks like my face. That's weird. Why? Why? Why is my face in that weird... Oh, oh look who it is, isn't he? It's the fat cunt himself! Fucking Pokey! Of course! Red, are you surprised? It's me, Pokey! I assist only the strong and able. That's Pokey. You guys look pathetic. The Apple of Enlightenment has already made a prediction. But I won't let that Apple of Enlightenment predict, take, predict, predicted take place. You guys will be beaten by Gygus. Gagas will be stronger, a more powerful entity than any other. Why? Because of me. I was led by Gagas, and now I'm here. The Apple of Enlightenment couldn't protect, couldn't predict this. Master Gagas. No. Gagas is no longer the wielder of evil. He has become the embodiment of evil itself, which he cannot control on his own. He is the evil power. Oh shoot! Do we get to kick the shit out of Pokey first? I think we do. Oh, we get oh okay, I guess it's there as well. I feel like Pokey's probably gonna be a little cunt and just do annoying shit. Like heal and stuff like that possibly, so I feel like maybe I should get rid of him first. I mean I guess I could just use this. <laughs> to help both of them, which would uh work out. Okay, let's try and focus on getting Pokey killed first, I think. Like that's probably a smart thing to do, and I can just spam the fuck out of these multi bottle rockets as well. These tunes, though. Ah, why did that hurt me? What the fuck? Ah, you motherfucker! He's putting our offense down. That is so rude. Oh, these tunes, though. Boom! Oh, why? Oh, is he bouncing that back? Are you kidding me? Fuck. 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 Did not realise that he was doing that. Well, I think Greg's gonna die, like, immediately. So that's fun. I understand you guys are already claiming to be heroes. Well, it's a gazillion years too early for you to oppose Gygus. You must feel pretty stupid to keep fighting without even knowing what Gygus looks like. If you were to ever see Gygus, you'd be so petrified with fear. You'd never be able to run away. That's how scary it is. So, do you want me to turn off the Eat Devil's Machine? Well, pre prepare to be amazed. Oh fuck. Wow, really already? Oh, here he is. So, isn't this terrifying? I'm terrified too. Gygus cannot think rationally anymore. And he isn't, he isn't even aware of what he is doing now. His own mind was destroyed by his incredible power. What an almighty idiot. Yep, that's what he is. <laughs> and you, you will be just another meal to him. 
Oh, uh, here we go. We're not starting off great, because Greg's dead and I'm nearly dead, so fucking <laughs> GG. Um, hmm. So can we even use PSI attacks on him? Like, at all? Am I... Hmm, I don't know if I'm maybe, like... I don't know if it's maybe a good idea for me to, like, put a shield up, just in case. I feel like maybe that's a good idea. Yeah, he f fucking Greg, fucking Pokey was like talking that whole time that Greg was dying, so I really couldn't even do anything if I wanted to. Oh god. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> well, fucking rip. I don't have any way to revive us. Oh, okay, that doesn't even work on Gigas. Cool. Shit. Uh, pray? What the fuck does that do? Pray. I mean, I think I'm fucked. I think I'm genuinely fucked at this point. Because we're both dead. The only two people that can revive. So this has not been a great start. <laughs> Well, that does something. I literally don't have anything I can do at this point. I think I'm fucked. Yep, I am so dead. Pretty much overkill at this point. Hmm. Rip. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay. Got off to a bad start. Used PSI attacks on him when I really, really shouldn't have. Are we really starting with everybody being dead? What the fuck is that bullshit? And I don't have any PP, how am I even supposed to do anything? And I've what and I've used all my items as well. What the fuck? How am I even meant to get through here now when I don't have like Good thing I uh can do this, huh? <laughs> oh, you know, honestly, the phase distorter can heal. Well, oh, well, I mean, I just did this. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. We're basically going to be the exact same spot. All right, well, rip. <laughs> I mean, all it's going to change is we have to go through this cutscene again, I guess. Oh, well. Did not know that it could heal me. Probably should have waited to uh, see in chat for a few seconds before I just like went and done that. But okay. Now like we're we're losing like what five ten minutes of time to just go through cutscenes again. No biggie. <laughs> no big deal. I mean, I guess now we get a second chance to get through that area with all the same. Well, the good thing is, at least this way, I get all my items back. And I get a second chance, so I get a ch second chance to go through the area without uh, losing as much PP or as using as many items as I had. So, you know, could turn out to be better. Yeah, I, I checked the I checked the broken one before. I got the horn of light. Don't worry, I know about that. Well, I don't know about it, but I, I got that last time, so no worries. I think I just have to hope that I get maybe luckier with the enemies this time because we fought a lot of fucking ghost starmen that were like instantly killing us and it was bullshit.
Is there a better way? Do you is, is there? Do you guys have any advice of like maybe better ways of getting through that area? Um, is it smarter for me to just use like PSI games, the one I have, like just use the most powerful one just to kill all of the enemies instantly, and then just use the uh, brain food lunches to kill a bunch of my PP back? Yeah, I can, I'll create a restore point after the cutscene, that probably, that's a smart idea. That way I don't have to go through this again if I want to reset. I mean, I guess at the same time, if I get to Gygus and I feel like I have a good amount of items, I could just restore, make a restore point there, so I don't have to go through the whole area again. Which I guess you, you could kind of say feels a little bit like cheating, because in the original game you wouldn't be able to save there and go back. But... At the same time, do we really want to be going through there multiple times? No use physical attacks. Just use physical attacks and all the enemies there, really? Just use PSI to heal? But like... I don't know. Yeah, there is a butterfly in the second section, but how often does it respawn? Alright, well, I'll listen to you. I'm, I'll just stick to using physical attacks and just use PSI to heal. I'll try, I'll try, see, if, I'll try my best to get that to work. Hopefully it will work. But, see what happens. Do I need a tip? Well, I mean, I guess I've learned from the first fight not to use PSI Starstorm or PSI Games because he immediately fucking blocked it and pushed it back and basically killed myself and Greg immediately. So that wasn't a smart move. Oh wrong way. Go in the wrong way. I don't know if it's maybe better for me to just do this. To try and get the enemies to despawn. Like just try and get through here without fighting as many. Try and like do that. Just so I don't have to fight as many enemies. I feel like that's probably a smart thing to do. Cause the less enemies I fight, the less I have to use my items and my P and my PP. Yeah, he has a shield that reflects attacks with double damage. Yep. Yeah, he sure does. So, I guess just... So I guess the smart thing is to just focus on Poke with attacks that only hurt him. And then, once he does the whole, oh, I'm gonna get rid of, open up the devil's machine or whatever the fuck that thing was called, then just, then we can attack him. And it, and it can't be neutralized, so even if I had the shield destroyer thing, it wouldn't do shit. That's some bullshit. Focus on Poke with multi rockets, freeze, and this it goes in par paralysis. Ah, okay. Sounds like a plan. Oh my god. Could these things, like, fuck off, though? I know this is maybe, like, a really cheap way of getting through here, but fuck it. The game's bullshit with these enemies. So I don't give a fuck. Oh my god. Could you please? Leave. I guess if it's only one of them, I could just fight it. It's if it's when there's more than one is when it can be a real problem. When it's only one, we can pretty much kill it fast. God damn. Oh my god. Okay. Well, this isn't ideal. Oh go. Okay. I'm just gonna have to fucking fight you. <laughs> Please just be one. Yes. Okay. And it's just a stupid robot. Cool. Hopefully we can get this thing killed quick. Really, 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 really wish I had, uh, I managed to get Greg's weapon off those star men at this point. Because I feel like that would be making a huge difference here. I mean, it'd also be nice if my attacks would actually fucking land. No. Well, I was the only one that got hurt there, so that's not a big deal. Oh god, okay. I'm just gonna have to fight them too. I'll try my best to do that whole get them to despawn bullshit if I can, but... It doesn't seem like it's gonna work sometimes. Like, right there I was pretty much sandwiched between two enemies no matter what, so... Oh 
Oh my god. I, was like, I don't know if my heavy bazooka does actual more damage than my regular weapon as well. I guess it probably does. Don't know. Yeah, I think we have a piece that definitely does more damage. Ooh, did not know they could drop molly ball rockets. You know, I I don't know. Hmm, for Pokey, use both Kim and Greg's freeze, and have Red use paralysis. Yeah. Also, it feels like, um, it feels like. Uh, Pokey died actually pretty quickly. Like, I only used one bottle rocket on him and that managed to kill him. So I don't know, like, if it's possible for me to just use bottle rocket, to use a couple of bottle rockets on these guys to just, like, kill them fast. Just so I don't have to waste as much PP and shit. Well, Starlight Knight, you came in, you say you just came in in time. We've already managed to make it to Gigas and he already killed me once. So... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that was a fun time. I didn't really get far into the fight. I pretty much got to the second form of him, and then he just like immediately fucked us. So, yeah. Not the not the best start, but uh, oh, there we go. It's pretty lucky. Nice. We're actually getting a lot luck. Uh, we're doing a lot better though, getting through this area. Helpful toy, Bonnie. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it, man. Poké has 2,000 HP. Alright. Damn it. Oh, I got the green, though. That'll be helpful. Oh, fuck. Okay, well I did get the surprise attack so I can maybe kill the star man before he gets a chance to even fucking do his bullshit. Hopefully. Yes! The guide you're following says he only has 1746. I mean, honestly, is it really that much of a difference? <laughs> it's like three, like when you have your HP is as high as that, is a couple of hundred really that much of a difference? Probably not. So, I think either way we're, either way we can. Uh, he has a lot of HP either way. We're getting fucking a lot of these green ones. It's pretty good. I mean, we managed to beat, we managed to kill Poké in like one turn on the first fight. So I think I think getting rid of Poké's not doesn't seem like too much of a problem. He seems to go down pretty easily. Um. Ah, oh, you motherfucker! Now rip the plush bear. Well, so far we're having a much better time than last time. We've not had a single person die or even get hurt that much yet. It'll be even easier when I don't hurt myself. Yeah, I know, right? Now we got a super bomb. Well, first of all, Kim. You have that to crash. You don't know what you fuck you're doing with it. Oh. Alright, well, fucking rip. <laughs> Guess just hold on to it then, since he can't hold it. I wanted the stup- I just wanted the weapon. God damn it. Alright, oh, that's just fine. 
we can probably kill him before he gets a chance to do much. If you remastered Earthbound, you'd give Gigas and Poke a massive buff, really? I mean, they fucked me up pretty bad. To be fair... It's because I made some dumb mistakes, like, right away, but still. He fucked me up. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, I have a multi-ball rocket as well. Um, but... Okay, let me throw that away, then. And then I will give, I guess I'll just give the Molly Bottle Rocket to Kim for to hold on to for now. There we go. And then I will take that. Not use it, no. Equip. That. There we go. I guess I might as well throw this away. Don't really need it. Oh. Alright, fine, I won't throw it away. Alright, hold on. My cat is really bothering me, guys. So I'm going to go feed her and I also need to use the bathroom. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes. So, good buddy. I will be back as fast as possible. We can try and get this finished.
Oh, okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I was either feed my cat now or deal with her constantly meowing and try to climb on top of me. Plus, I need to use, I need to take a pee anyway, so. <clears throat> if I die again, you're going to give me instructions on how to beat Gygus. <clears throat> Maybe a smart thing to do. If, it, if he's really giving me that much trouble. Uh, but hopefully that won't be an issue. No. No. Thank God for that. That brain shock thing is bullshit, I think. Am I still thingied? No. Okay, thank God. Well, I don't even need you, butterfly, but I'll take you. Come here. Are any of us even hurt? Are we still all at max stats here? I'm hurt a little bit. Yeah, everyone else is fine, though. Okay, I'll be trying. Ah, there we go. Getting through this a lot fucking quicker and a lot easier than we were last time. Holy shit. Alright, well that's just fucking immediate enemies attacking. Oh god, okay, this could this could end badly. Damn it. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Uh uh. That's gonna kill Kim, that's gonna kill Crash. And that's gonna not kill it might actually not kill Greg. Oh, could you not miss at a time like this though? No! Are you fucking kidding me? How the hell am I gonna... Oh my god. Oh god, fuck. I feel like I have to use one of those. At this point, to kill him. Or not, because Greg died. Ah! He's... Okay, how the fuck? Yeah, I'll make a restore... I'm just gonna make a restore point before Guy gets but... This is some bullshit that's happening right now, by the way. This fucker is- he's, he's just healing the Starman! I literally can't kill the Starman. Because he just keeps fucking healing him. At least he didn't fucking- there we go, please kill him, thank god. <sighs> just run from the fight. I mean, you say that, but the, I know for a fact the game's just going to be like, No, you can't run. Fuck you. I'll try, though. Oh, we actually got away. Jesus Christ. Wow. Why is there so fucking many of them? Okay. At least it actually is working this time. Not giving me any bullshit about Oh, it didn't work. What a shame. Wait, it does? I did not know that Life Up Omega healed everyone. Okay, well, so I'm about late for that, but now I know for future that I will do that. If that is the case. Okay, no, I didn't want to go back in through there. God, great fun, great fun, great fun. It's not what I wanted to do. Uh... God damn it. Oh, please.
Oh, thank God. Oh, please just kill him. Please just kill him. Thank God. Did you not? I fucking hate these stupid goddamn robots. Keep doing that by accident. Fuck's sake. <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ. Stupid fucking robots so goddamn much. Like, I can understand the fact that they would want to make an enemy that like heals other enemies like that, but why did they have to make it so he literally always heals them fully? Also, really? You're gonna fucking use that on me? Ah, god fucking damn it. Can we at least all get our hits in before we fucking die? Thank you. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. The longer you battle, the larger the chance of getting away. Oh, really? Interesting. you just please fucking work and not pull this bullshit on me right now? That makes things a lot easier, being able to just use that. Okay, at least now I can try and go back without going through the stupid thing again. The fact that I went through that stupid ball like three times by accident really fucked us there a little bit. Oh my god. Would you just go away? Would you guys just please despawn? Please? Please? Oh my fucking god. For fuck's sake. This gets worse. Oh my god, really? Is it just the one? If it's just the one and I can fight... I don't know, there's one up there as well. I don't think he's going to despawn though. No. Okay, if I just fight this one, it's not a big deal.
Thank you. Okay, we're already here. Thank fucking Christ for that. Alright. Just want to get everyone maxed before we even go in there. Okay. Create a store point. Yes. Freeze and par paralysis on Poke and then brain shock on Gygus in the second form. Okay. I don't even, uh, you know, I don't even remember what exactly does Brain Shock do. I don't actually remember. Wait, who even has Brain Shock? Is it Kim that has Brain Shock? Who the hell has Brain Shock? Is this. I guess it's just Greg that has that. Yeah. What does it do again? Makes all of the enemies feel strange. That really tells me a lot. Thanks, game. <laughs> Okay, at least now we know if I die I can just respawn there and we can get this done. It's just a matter of trial and error now. Don't have to go through all that bullshit we've just went through. And we're in a much better position than we were before now. Still have some teddy bears left. We got more items. We're probably more healed. Probably have more PP as well. And we have we can learn from our mistakes of the first battle and hopefully get rid of this cunt. <sighs> Ah, uh, you surprised? It's me, Pokey. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we've seen all this, Pokey. We know, we know the drill. Just fucking get on with it, you prick. Let's do this. Okay. So, paralysis. Uh, freeze. Molly bottle rocket. And freeze. There. Good start. Boom. Very stinky gas. It's fine. I don't really plan on using... Or at least I don't think I plan on using a lot of physical attacks, so... Guy gets no, you prick. It's not nice. No, the bear. Why? <clears throat> didn't work on Guy gets, and it didn't work on Pokey. God damn it. Try that again. I feel like the Molly Bolter rocket did like fucking nothing there as well. Oh god, he's just, he's using stronger versions of it. Oh, Kim. No. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Use the multi bottle. Oh, we just barely got the multi bottle rocket out before he fucking dies. Alright. Uh... Horn of Life! One Kim!
No, Gangus, stop being an arsehole. God damn it. Okay, well, at least Kim was revived. Um. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, the, I tried to use a multi bottle rocket in the in the first fight on Gygus' second form, and it didn't do shit. So I assumed it would be the same. Um, I guess just we we'll just use freeze on Poke again. Gygus, you need to fucking chill, man. He's doing way too much damage. God damn it! He's fucking killing everybody faster than I can do shit. Okay, well at least I got everybody maxed out except Greg, so that's at least somewhat of a positive. I guess, seriously. Could you not? It's probably gonna kill Crash like or Greg immediately. Yep. God damn it. Poor fucking Greg is just dying constantly. Oh, here we go. I understand you guys are already claiming to be heroes. Well, it's a gazillion years too early for you to oppose Gygus. You must feel pressure a bit to keep fighting without even knowing. What Gygus looks like. If you were to even see Gygus, you'd be so petrified with fear, you'd never be able to run away. That's how scary it is. So do you want me to turn off the devil's machine? Well, prepare to be amazed. There we go. <clears throat> oh, his shield disappears in second form. That's good to know. So isn't this terrifying? I'm terrified too. Gygus cannot think rationally anymore, and he isn't even aware of what he's doing now. His own mind was destroyed by his incredible power. What an almighty idiot. Yep, that's what he hears. <laughs> and you, you will be just another meal to him. Alright, fuck off, Pokey. Arsehole. Okay, here we go. Not starting off great. Uh, and Greg's dead, so we can't even use fucking <laughs> Brain Shock right away. Um, so, does, so I can use PSI attacks on Gygus now and it will actually hurt him? So shall I just use PSI games and stuff? Well, I guess what I should probably do is heal... Actually, because we're all fucking in pretty bad shape right now. Um, should I use like should I use any kind of shield or like defense? No, not sh not defense. But should I use maybe my PSI shield? To protect us from Gygus? Or is that not going to really do anything? Oh, I, could, I guess I could just freeze him now since his shield is down. Um, God, does that, do we not have any other fucking... PSI shield is great? Okay, I'll use that then. I guess all I can do is just shoot the fuck out of him. You cannot grasp the true form of Gygus. Oh god, no. Oh, oh, okay, well that was bad. Heal! 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 <laughs> he's pretty fucking scary. Like, he's really, really creepy. Uh, that did some damage at least. Okay. Now I gotta fucking actually heal Greg. I mean, the problem is. Do I have any. Hold on, do, what do I have? Uh, I just have pig, piggy jellies. Okay. 
I need to heal Crash and then hope that he doesn't die. That's the problem right now. Oh, it didn't work really? Are you gonna really pull that bullshit right now? Are you fucking kidding me? I need to have Greg alive here. Michael underscore seven six seven seven. How's it going, man? I was, I didn't even notice that it was you that said that. I thought it was Derek because you guys, or, or at least in my chat thing, you guys are have the exact same color username. So I I just seen the orange and thought that was him. But hi, well, welcome to the stream, man. Oh, thank God! Finally, he's revived. Okay. Now we can finally use Brain Shock. Brain Shock, bitch! Felt a little strange. Well, it worked. Well, we're doing good here. If I remember, you have to keep on attacking, then eventually you have to defend with them all except for Paula. With Paula you gotta just keep on praying. Attack and then after 2k HP you have Paula's prey. Ah. Oh yeah, that came up before actually. Yeah, 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 that came up before. Alright, let's do this. PSI games! Oh, we have prey. Sure, should I start doing that now? Because we have it. Or is there like a cutscene that happens to like tell me that I should start doing it? I'm just gonna attack first and see what happens. Oh, we do not have enough PP. You'll know when, I promise. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Games, bitch. Nice. Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> you must really be at the end of your rope. In this bizarre dimension, you four are the only force fighting for justice. And here you stand, waiting to be burned up with all the rest of the garbage of this universe. Ha! <laughs> That's so sad, I can't help but shed a tear. You know, my heart is beating incredibly fast. I must be experiencing absolute terror. Do you want to scream for help in here? Yeah. Do you want to scream for help here in the dark? <laughs> Why not call your mommy, Red? Say, mommy, daddy, I'm so frightened. I think I'm going to wet my pants. I know you have telepathy or something, so just try and call for help. You pathetically weak heroes of so-called justice. No one will help you now. <laughs> Don't worry, your pitiful suffering will be over soon. Well, fucking Christ, Pokey. <laughs> oh, I guess this is probably it now. Play Mother 3 after this, I'll send you a ROM through email. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I have actually already played Mother 3. I played Mother 3 years ago, and I just... Earthbound I didn't play, Mother 3 I already played. I've already beaten it years ago, so... Unfortunately, I won't be able to do a blind playthrough of that, which I actually kind of wish I could do a blind playthrough on stream of that, because that would have been amazing. But, unfortunately, I have already beaten it. So, <clears throat> after this bit, you've got to pray with Paula and defend with the others, and then you're set. Okay. So, just defend. Use life up as necessary to keep people alive. Okay. So, defend, pray, defend, defend. Red, you cannot grasp the true form of Gigas' attack! 
Oh god, hello god. Yeah, that is doing a fuck ton of damage. <clears throat> If that is possible, please, somebody help us. Oh? Oh, it's the fucking Saturns. Oh. Is that Apple Kid and Andernuts coming back? Yep, sure is. What games do I normally stream? Uh, pretty much, any, pretty much anything I feel like. Really, I, I don't really. I mean, I would probably say that I, pr I definitely sway to more towards Nintendo games, but I pretty much play just anything. <coughs> For example, right now I'm doing Mother. Th right now I'm doing Earthbound. Right after this, I'm going to be starting a stream of the walk of the Telltale's Walking Dead games on my Xbox One. So that's quite. Quite a jump of variety between the two games, just as an example. Um, but yeah, I'll play, I'll play pretty much anything I just like. Anything that interests me, I'll be like, yeah, I'll play it. So, if you have any suggestions, feel free to suggest. And if I feel if it's something I will want to play, I'll definitely do it. All of the Mr. Saturn felt a new, starting, startling feeling they had never experienced before. And they all started praying for the safety of Red and his friends. Yay, Mr. Saturn. <clears throat> oh, is that, so every time I feel like every time we're praised, they're gonna like cut to like other people that we've met in the world. Oh shit! Michael seven six seven seven, thank you for the follow, man. Appreciate it. Oh god! Oh fucking hell, Gigas. He just somehow got even more creepy. Nope, no, 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 no. Pray, Cam. You pray. Nope. Fucking pray. There we go. Defend and defend. Okay. Fucking I get it. That did not work, bitch. Did not work, bitch. No crash! Rip. Please give us strength. Anyone who can hear our plea, help us. Yeah, please. Fucking crash is drop dead. Conker's Bad Fur Day. I fucking love Conker's Bad Fur Day. That's like one of my favourite games, and I haven't played it in forever, actually. In fact, you know what? That might be a good shout. At some point, I definitely want to get the Rare Replay Collection. It's for Xbox One, and that is a game that's on there, so I could probably do that. I actually, I've not played that game in quite a long time, and I fucking love it. Next turn, he'll come. I def well, we should. I did set up to use uh, Life Up Omega, so hopefully that'll heal everybody. Suddenly, one of the Runaway Five felt something stop him. Is the Runaway Five? And he prayed for fair. Did not get to read that, but I'm assuming he said he prayed. And Gigas gets fucked by it. Oh wow, that actually damaged him as well. No visible effect on Crash. No fucking shit. Uh. Hold on. How much does that cost? Ah, oh, 38, fuck. I was gonna say, if I do what I could do. No, no, I did not mean to do what I just did. Okay, fucking rip. Red, 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 Healing Omega, but I fucked it and I picked the wrong thing. Uh. Speed this prayer to all the people of the earth. The cat of Bad Fur Day is expensive over here in the PAL format. Yeah, I fuck it. I bought it years ago. I think I bought it from Amazon. I think it was, it was either Amazon or eBay. I bought it like five or six years ago and it was like 60 quid which was kind of ridiculous so <laughs> yeah I have I have the cartridge for Conker's Bad for Day in the other room but I don't have any way of setting up my N64 to my stream so unfortunately I would either have to A 
emulate it, which honestly I don't really trust N64 emulators because they seem to fucking break down with a lot of games and not work properly graphical wise. So I think getting the uh, rare replay collection for Xbox One is probably the best way of doing it. Kim's father thought he somehow heard his daughter's voice and prayed sincerely for the safety of Kim and his her friends. Pretty cool. <laughs> we only talked to them like once. Oh my god, Gygus, you need to fucking relax, man. You're really freaking me out. Alright, you know what? Let's just use that to fucking revive Crash. And we'll pray, and we'll defend. Ah, uh, yeah! It's not right! Not right! Not right! I don't know who's talking here. Not right, not right, it's not right! I'm assuming it's Pokey. You don't know, you cannot grab. Yeah, since he's like saying it in that way. Unless Gygus is like speaking in the third person like The Rock. Hey, one who can hear her, please help us. I'm just imagining Gygus like shit talking like the fucking Rock does in WWE now. I was fucking. What's his name? Tony! Tony! My man Tony. And all the other characters who we never learned the names of. But Tony's there. With his little fedora kind of hat. <laughs> Suddenly Tony felt anxious about Crash. And he prayed strongly for his, the safety of Crash and his friends. Well, sorry to tell you that's Tony, but he's fucking dead right now, so... <laughs> I'll get the fuck, I guess. Oh, really? Okay, let's try. Okay, I'm gonna have to actually heal everybody because fucking Christ. Okay, let me try and use brain food launch this time. And then I can try and heal Crash on the next fight, on the next turn. I'm so sad, Red. I'm so sad, Red. You cannot grasp the form of Gygus' attack. Fuck. Oh, thank God. Whew. Kim prayed from the bottom of her heart, please grant us power, anyone who can hear her plea, please help us. Oh, it's you, who I don't think I even know the name of. I don't think I know any of these characters' names, actually. Do we even learn the car any, any of these characters' names at any point? Or am I just am I just an asshole who just forgot what their names were? All I remember is that some of them were asking Greg to like play with them, and that was it. A young woman, yep, literally don't know their name. A young woman in Dalam woke from a dream in which Prince Greg died. And she began to pray for his well-being of Greg and his friends. Oh, hey, Aprez. Welcome to the stream, man. How's it going? You uh, came in at a good moment. There we go. Crash is back up now. Everybody's alive. I feel g good. I feel g uh, good. I cannot grasp the true form of Gigas' attack. Ah. Uh, no. Stop. Kim prayed from the bottom of her heart. Please grant us strength. Anyone who can hear our plea. We ask for this. Yeah, we're on Gigas. We actually might do it this time. <laughs> he kind of I kind of died the f on the first try, but we are uh, I think we may actually manage it this time, by the looks of it. Suddenly Frank recalled Red's shining young face. And began to pray diligently for the safety of Red and his friends. I feel good. Oh my god, Aprez. How dare you. Oh, damn! That done a fuck ton of damage to him. Holy shit. Red, red, red. You cannot grasp the form of Gygus' attack. No. No. Please grant us power. Speed this prayer to all the people of the earth. 777 HP lucky. I should be get yeah, I should get some kind of fucking prize for that.
<laughs> one in them slots. Do we actually? Oh, I was gonna say, do we actually get to see our dad? No, it's the fucking dog. Goddamn Winston. Suddenly, Red's mother felt terribly uneasy, and she began to pray for the safety of her son and his friends. Shout out to Boney, a fucking dog in an earthbound game that was actually useful. I'm not, I'm not, unlike fucking Winston there. Oh shit! What's happening? Oh my god! Oh, for fucking. This is just like seizure and doesn't push right now. Oh my god. <laughs> fucking hell. Go back. I'm so sad, Red. It hurts. It hurts! You cannot grasp the form of Gygus' attack. Ah, fucking Christ. Oh god. Cam, no! Not the Gygus music. It hurts, it hurts. Oh god. Uh, uh, oh, you cannot. Oh my god. Uh, Franklin badge? Fucking shout out to the Franklin badge. From the bottom of her heart. I can't think of anyone else. Someone, anyone, please help us. Kim's call was absorbed by the darkness. Oh shit. Red, 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 because it looked like that was... Oh, Jesus. Alright. <laughs> I don't want a damage. That's me. I can, I'm praying. I'm praying with you guys. Because it's me. My name's Steven. Ha. Ah, because I'm the player. And we're just... I mean, I'm, apparently I'm fucking him right now. I'm not even doing anything. I'm the fucking... <laughs> I'm the MVP of this fight, apparently. Holy shit. 12,000 damage. Steven kept... I'm praying. Fucking... 23,000. Oh! Is that? Is he fucking dead? Oh shit. Jesus Christ. Oh, look at it, isn't he? Red, no, I. Well, it's going to seem like I'm running away, but perhaps I'll just sneak away to another era to think about my next plan. It's a good bet. It's a good bet that we will see each other again. All right, I'll be seeing you. Go now. So, now which one of us do you think it's the cool guy? Ah, oh, fucking goddamn it, Pokey. You piece of shit. Uh. Uh. Guys, you all right, man? You want to just die, or are you going to be an asshole and like, take us with you? Oh fuck. Are we dead? The war against Gygus is over. Rip? Question mark? I mean, we look pretty fucked up. Oh. Is that our souls? Going back? I would assume.
developers of this game sure didn't fuck around when they made this. Yeah, they really didn't. They just went all out with the uh, with the end stuff. Like they were just like, ah, oh, let's just fuck them up. <laughs> let's just fuck up all the players. <clears throat> hey, hey, Greg's alive. Yay. And crash. And Kim. Happy ending? Do we all get to live? Yay, hooray for poo. Don't take that out of the context. Yay, everyone's okay. Our travels together end here. I must return to Dalum and use this experience for the good of my country. Vid, Kim, Crash, let me demonstrate a strange power before I go. I realised this power as a child. PSI farewell. Now. I'll see you again someday. Alright, see you later. Oh. Presents? Crash? What you doing? Kim. Red. It was great to hang out with you guys. It really was. I'm glad that I had the chance to use some of the theories that I have been studying so hard. It's so... It's remarkable. If... Just maybe. Well, uh, if you two get hitched someday, maybe I'll be the one that fixes your broken electronic appliances. <laughs> I'm going to stay here for a while and see if I can learn more from Dr. Andonuts. I mean, from my dad. So... It looks like this is a goodbye for now, my friends. <laughs> Fuck off, you prez. God damn it. Just a bit puns. Will I escort you home? Sure. I'll miss all of you, but I have to go back to being just a regular kid. Well, I gotta get going. Oh yeah. Went from saviour of the universe to regular kid. Totally that easy. A letter, oh, a letter from Tony. A letter from Tony, a letter from Mom. And a letter from the kids. Can we read them? Dear Crash, everything's really going great here. I wish I could have gone with you on your adventure, even just part of the way. But instead I'm sitting here, waiting for you in winters. I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your cheerful face. I bet your glasses are dirty if you come back. I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you. Yours truly, Tony. P.S. Don't show this letter to anyone. Oh, fucking... <laughs> Whoops. Dear Red, how are you? Since you left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as much laundry. Also, we don't seem to eat pasta as much as we used to. I heard that you defeated some universal evil character. What was it? Gucci or something like that? <laughs> Fucking goddamn it, man. Well, that sounds really great. I want to hear all the details, so hurry home, okay? Tracy, Winston and I are waiting for you. Love, Mama. Dear Kim, how are you doing? I'm fine. I fine too. So are me. Me also. Me, me okay. Please come and play with us again at the Pole Stars Preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents if you have any. Sincerely, your friends at the Pole Stars Preschool. It's a miracle. A miracle that has only happened of your great courage. Believe me, I went through a lifetime worth of stress while you were gone. I just wish I could have come with you as a robot. I should have used the phase disorder. What a story that would have been. Scientists and four kids save the world. Ha <laughs> ha. The chance of Gygus gaining victory with this monstrous plan is 99%. However, your courage has produced a 1% chance that Gygus fails. I almost... I must try to come to a deeper understanding of this trait called courage. Incredible! Excellent! I'm not quite sure what for, but congratulations on a job well done. If we ever have the chance of, to get together again, let's go on a picnic or something. Maybe we could play horseshoes too. It was a one. It was winners that we last met. I just got here. Tee. Alright. Zoom! 
Alright, thanks for the input, Mr. Saturn. Alright, so I guess we just uh, take him back to... Where's it? Is it Tucson? Tucson's with her preschool, isn't it? Yeah. Meow. Out the way, dog. Red, thank you for escorting me home. There was something I wanted to tell you, but I've forgotten it. I'm sure I'll remember by the time I see you again. Well, I guess this is it. Goodbye. Um, so long. See ya. Bye. See you, Kim. Uh, guess there's nothing left to do but go home. That bench, though. Unfortunately, we can't shit on them. Shit. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't shit on the benches. And what I meant to say was we can't sit on the benches. Which is a huge shame. Because we all know the best part about having a bench in a video game is being able to sit on it. So many games just don't add that in. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Wait, Shetland. <laughs> Did not mean to say Shetland, but oh well. Rip. Wow, you've become such a strong young man. I'd like to heal all, hear all of your stories, but I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. After all your chats with your people, after all your chats with peop people you met on your adventure are finally over, please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. I'd like to look at it with you. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Haven't, other dogs haven't figured it out yet, but I know that you guys saved the world. <laughs> Thanks. So wait, what are we supposed to do now? Talk to everybody we met on our adventure? Like who? Are we just done? Is there like an end credits or... What? Salutations, you're the boy living next door. I heard that your family is in debt. Mrs. Minch told me about it. Well, love and learn. You just have to keep plugging away. As usual, you're wearing grubbies. So, what do you want? My son isn't at home now. He's walking around somewhere. My husband is also gone. Oh yes, this is Mr. Pretty Man. He always has a great advice. He's a real gentleman, he is. You'll be happy that you met him. Is his brother still here? His wee bro? Oh, there he is. I haven't seen you in a while, you look cool. I'm nowhere near as cool as you, I'm just average cool. So what are, what are we doing now? Are we just done? Is that it? Anti, kind of anti-climatic ending where we just kind of walk about. <laughs> I don't know where else we would really go to. Uh, do I maybe go to like Dalam and Winters to talk to Crash and Greg for the final time? Nope. Ah, oh, fuck me. Fuzzy Pickles. I had to get one more in, didn't you? Well, what a great scoop. See you later. Asshole. Yep, 
you're here. We have little but stay for a re stay and rest for a while. But I'm impressed you did so well for one who hasn't had much training. Thanks, man. Is that it then? Are we just done with the game? Is the game over? Can I just <coughs> can I just head off now? I mean, if we're done, I might as well turn the game off and we can switch over to the place to start playing something else. How long have we actually been going for? Uh, about two hours ish, just under two hours, by the looks of it. So. I guess that's <coughs> I guess that's the end of Earthbound then. <laughs> I was expecting like credits and stuff, but uh, I guess not. Do we just have basically the world to explore now if we wanted to? To like talk to everyone? There are credits. How do I, well? How do I how do I get to them? I did go home, and she was like, oh, you have to go talk to everyone that you met in your journey. But I don't know what she means by that, like, who's who's all the people that, who's, like, I guess there's only, like, specific important people that I need to, like, speak to, and then we can do that. I went to Nessa's home, and the mum was like, you, you should go talk to everyone you've met on your adventure, and that was it. And then I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Try again. Did you finish doing everything you wanted? Yes. Okay, okay. Now you can finally share your incredible experiences with me. You did so well. Okay, so I just had to talk to her again. So I guess she was just giving me the option to go and explore the world after I finished. <clears throat> Yay! Okay, so we got a proper ending. I was I was thinking for a moment there I was thinking that I would just like have to like just kind of anticlimactically end the game and just be like alright bye end of the game hey there we go holy shit cast oh god why is, why is he I don't know why they're at the top picky minch lardna minch Aloysius Aloysius minch and pokey minch who fucking bolts buzz buzz who died like right at the start we got Leah Lear X Aggregate, who pretty much was the cause of everything with that goddamn statue. Frank Fly, the sharks, motherfucking sharks. BH Perko, I don't remember that guy. Captain Strong, I remember him. The the police that just like took me and started beating the shit out of me. <coughs> Kim's mom and Kim's dad. And we got Kim with her little teddy bear. Orange kid who we had like no interaction with. Apple kid. Mr. Everdread who fucking. That prick jumped off and kicked the shit out of me because I wasn't expecting to fight with him. Yeah, they're on a way five. Oh god. 
creepy, the creepy happy happiest. God, car painter. Oh, well, there's a statue again. Oh, Pickle's the mayor. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right. Bubble monkey, Tony fucking Tessie's face. I'll never get old. That's a stupid fucking face on that thing. Maxwell, Tessie's watching club. There's Brick Road. The man himself. The dungeon man himself. Dr. Andernats with his little spaceship that blew up like god knows how many times. Crash, the man. <laughs> so many Mr. Saturn. Do we really need to have multiple Mr. Saturn? There. Hey! Oh god. Master Belch. Does he like Apple products like the Mac iPhone and all the stuff Apple really? <laughs> I mean, he seems smart, so he seems very smart, so probably not. Fucking Gerardo Montague. Talarama, the weird, fucking weird monkey king with a silver hat. Gildegarde Monatuli. Venus the singer, who was. got creepily nearly, like, molested on stage by that fucking scientist guy. The fucking guy at the museum. And Greg, Starmaster, Greg's master. Oh my god. Dungeon Man. And the Noble Warrior. I don't, even, I don't really remember who the no, that Noble Warrior guy. And the Tent of Tribesmen. They were cool little guys. Look a little strange, but they're cool. Oh my god. Well, the Flying Men. I don't think we killed all of them. I think we only killed like three or four of those guys. <laughs> and I guess these are just the residents. The residents. Of the uh, all the different towns and cities, and the, doc and the doctor and nurse. And it's dead. <laughs> Dad's just a phone. You just never get to see him. And Winston, Tracy, Mum, and myself, Red, or Ness, whatever you want to call me. Hey, we beat Earthbound! Woo! Oh. Oh. Hello? Oh, fucking fuzzy pickles. So you're just gonna show me all the pictures now? Yep. But your Ness's mum used the phone to sleep with every night. Jesus Christ. Don't be taking don't you take a picture of me, you fuck. Yay. So okay, I guess the credits is just gonna be the staff with uh, all the pictures that the fuzzy pickles guy took over the course of the game. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so we beat Earthbound. Earthbound is officially done. Oh my god. So that was an it was an interesting game. Had its uh, frustrating moments, like the uh, the department store. Uh, there was only, I mean I think there was only three major areas in the whole game that gave me a lot of trouble. Um, the department store in Foreside. Um, what was the place? The Mad Magicant, the place that was like in Nessie's mind. Those two places, and then the end area, uh, to where we were going to Gigas. Those were the only three areas I feel like in the whole game that really gave us a lot of trouble. So, but other than that, it was it was great. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was a pretty good game. I I think I would say I, I definitely I definitely like Mother Three more, but it's still a good game. Definitely, definitely good. I'm glad I'm glad I finally got around to playing it. I mean, it was that's the thing. It was one of those games where. If there was really no way to play it unless you had like a Super Nintendo and a copy of the game for years, and then when it finally was on, uh, on my Wii U, I actually, I actually bought it on my Wii U like months and months ago, and I just never got around to playing it for like the longest time. I even like, when I first bought it, I even like, was like thinking about doing a YouTube series on it, rather than uh, before I was able to even like stream. But uh, I felt like I felt like if I did a YouTube series, it would have been kind of ridiculously long and probably really frustrating to watch because I wouldn't have had chat you guys with me to like kind of sit there and help me as I go so 
I think uh, I think streaming it was probably the better choice for that. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was good, good, good game. So that's uh, good. I feel like the vast majority of the like playthroughs. I think nearly every single game I've done like a playthrough of on my stream has been an RPG except Wind Waker. The Wind Waker 3 Heart Run that we did, I think that's the only playthrough of a game that I've done on my stream that isn't an RPG, which is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I, don't mean, I, can't, like, I can't think of any other game that I've played on stream like all the way through, like this has been like a playthrough that wasn't an RPG game. There's Pokemon, Paper Mario, a lot of Pokemon, Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, yeah, Thousand Year Door, yeah, and then Earthbound, and then yeah, we had Wind Waker, and I think that's pretty much been it, it's basically just been, the only, the only non-Pokemon games we've really done a playthrough of has been Earthbound, Thousand Year Door, and Wind Waker, I think. Unless I'm just forgetting some games that I've done playthroughs of. I can't think of any. Hmm. Oh yeah, I guess Mario Party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, actually. Yeah, totally. I, I guess I think the reason I was forgetting Mario, the Mario Party playthroughs, there is because the two, the well, we did Mario Party one and three. Yeah, Mario Party one and three we did on stream. I think the reason I forgot about them there is because they they were both pretty short, and only took like a few streams to get through both of them. So. What's next? I'll tell you what's next. This is what's next. Oh. This is what we're playing next. Oh, oh, there you go. The Walking Dead. Telltale's The Walking Dead. Season 1 and also the 400 Days DLC we have on disc. I'm going to be playing that. This is the next playthrough we're doing. Uh, and then as soon as... I don't know. Here's the thing. I'm going to do this, and there's five episodes on this, plus 400 days, so that's technically like six episodes. So it'll probably be an episode per stream, and then maybe if the if the episodes don't take too long, maybe just play some random shit af afterwards, like Overwatch or something, whatever I feel like. Um, so we'll probably get through this pretty quickly. Um, I don't know if I'm going to immediately start Season 2 after this. It's, I guess it'll be up to you guys if you could want to see it. Uh, season two like right after it or if you would guys would prefer for me to like maybe do another game in between just so it's not just walking dead for like really long uh but we'll do this and then we're definitely going to do season two at some point and then season three should be coming out pretty soon so we can then eventually get around to doing that and uh yeah so that's the plan for the next game i could do episode one of this tonight maybe I don't know how I don't know if I, I don't know how long it's gonna take, so I don't know. Or I could maybe just play some random other some other like random game just for like a little while. Before uh, we, and then just move on to this tomorrow. Um Another game in between would be nice. Yeah, I think it would be yeah, that's why I was thinking like have a nice break. So it's not just walking dead, walking dead, walking dead, walking dead for like ages. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Alright, um, okay, well, I am going to go use the bathroom. Oh, hold on, what is this? Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now, and maybe home none of my business. Don't you think it would be a good idea to take a break? Yes! Alright, you should find a place to stay in the nearest town. When you get to the hotel, soon as I give your dad... Oh. Wait. What's happening? A letter arrived from my brother Pokey. It is addressed to Red. There's no stamp and it's not from the mailman to come. And it's not time for the mailman to come. Anyway, I brought it over. It says, come and get me, loser. Spankity, spankity, spankity. I wonder where he is. Really? <laughs> That's where the game's going to end on? Fucking goddamn. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
One end and... Uh, wow. The end? Question mark? All right, <laughs> guess that's really the end. All right, I'm gonna go use the bathroom and stuff and then come back and then I'll decide what we're doing. I don't know if I'm gonna bother uh, starting episode, <coughs> starting The Walking Dead tonight, doing episode one, because it might take a while to do and we've already been streaming for like a good, just over, for a good like at least two hours. And I know that's probably going to take at least two, two and a half hours to do, so I don't know what we're going to do. I'm going to go use the bathroom and mull it over. If you guys have any thoughts on what you want me to do when I get back, have any a suggestion for a game that I can maybe just play for a little bit, or if you guys really want me to do Start Walking Dead right now, let me know, and I will come back and I'll decide what I do. So I'll be back in a few minutes. You guys, just to let me know and chat what you're, what you're wanting, and I'll uh, yeah, decide when I get back, I guess. So, BRB.